Hello, this is Deborah with Black Education TV, and I'm going to be discussing another story out of Africa that was shared with me today. Now, apparently the Ethiopian government have decided to put a stop to all adoptions for foreigners of their children for their protection because of abuses. Now, many of us have seen the stories of these children that have been adopted by foreigners, mostly Europeans, and they were abused. Not all Europeans, because I do remember there was an Asian couple who adopted one child. And I don't know if she was necessarily from Ethiopia, but this child was from Africa. And they adopted this child so that they can take her organs. That is detestable. But we've seen the stories where these children have been adopted out of Africa by Westerners. And everyone sees them with their children like they're some pet dogs and say, Oh, isn't that so nice? They adopted the poor African kids. Not knowing the stories behind these adoptions. What these children are going through. Some of the stories will make you puke to see what these children were subjected to as a result of being adopted by people who had other things in mind. You have to understand, everyone who adopts a child, it has nothing to do with love all the time. Sometimes it has nothing to do with love. There's other things going on in their minds. And since people around the world seem to think that so-called black people are disposable, they tend to allow treatment of our people that is inhumane. We've heard of some of these African children starving to death, being beaten to death. I mean, horrible things that we've heard. And like I stated, the one child who was adopted by Asians just so that they can harvest her organs. It was really, really good to hear that the leadership of Ethiopia have decided to take a stand against this and not allow these international adoptions. Because we have to understand there's a mindset that has been established in this world for a very long time. A mindset that so-called black people around the world are inferior and you can do whatever you want to them, treat them any kind of way. I remember there was a, a young Caucasian boy who went to Africa as a missionary and so you would say, oh, he went over there as a missionary. He wants to help. No. They discovered that he was raping these African children, small, young African children. I think he himself was 18, and he was raping these children. So he went over there for a fix. He went over there for a fix, not to help. But these poor children are damaged for life. Because, because of some wicked fetish he developed, he developed in his mind. And he decided to victimize African children. How come his mind didn't take him to China? They have poor people over there too. Not suggesting that he should do that to any child. But I'm just trying to make a point here. His mind didn't tell him to go to China and do this. It didn't tell him to go to India and do this. Didn't tell him to go to the poverty-stricken areas of Latin America. No, 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 no. His mind told him to go to Africa. That's where everyone goes to dump their mess. Dump their sperm, dump their beliefs, their religions. And while at the same time picking up something, robbing resources, taking lives. I know some of you don't like to hear the reality of what is happening in this world, but this is what is happening. This is what is happening. So I am so glad to hear that the Ethiopian government has made such a bold move, a big move such as this, to stop these adoptions. It is better that they stay there in their own country, in their own land, than to come here and be subjected to this type of abuse that they're getting from these people 
who pretend that they're getting them to love them. It makes you wonder, were they ever even capable of loving these children? What was the initial thought behind getting them in the first place? If you're going to bring a child here from Africa to torture, why, what is the point in that? It's really sad to hear these things happening in the world and that these mindsets exist, but they do, family. And people can turn a deaf ear all they want and pretend like this stuff doesn't happen and that we're making it all up. It's all in our heads, but the, the headlines are telling you what's going on. The deaths of these children, these poor African children, are telling you what's going on. And as I stated in, in an earlier video, I really wish that the people of Africa, the leaders of Africa, could stop being so money hungry and so wicked to where they are turning a blind eye to the things that the West are doing to them. If they can just unite among each other, I mean, gosh, how hard is this to understand? You all are the ones with the resources. Africa, do you realize how rich you are? Is our, are our minds this deflated that we can't even realize the vast wealth of Africa long enough to know that they really don't need anyone? If they themselves would just unify, the wealth is in your hand. The true wealth is in your hands. Everyone else has paper money that they print on machines, but you all have the wealth. You have the gold, the diamonds, the copper, the rubber, all of these other vast resources. The moringa trees, I mean, you all have it there. You all have the wealth. But you're letting a few idiot leaders on top squander it all off to fill his pockets and to take care of his family and inviting the enemy right into your doors. Good job, Ethiopia, on telling them to leave your kids alone and closing the doors on international adoption. This needed to be done a long time ago. And I think a lot of other African nations should follow suit after what you have done. Because there's already enough abuse of Africans happening around the world, even at the hands of other Africans. That's right. This abusive, devilish spirit that's in this world is going to be dealt with sooner or later. The divine judgment of the Most High Yah is going to deal with every last one of these people who continue to be wicked like this and do the things that they are doing, terrorizing mankind. Don't think that you're going to get away. You might be getting away right now, but a day of reckoning is at hand. Shalom, family.